Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D and today we're going to be importing a sound file and creating this animation. Now, please, if you want to help me out, hit that subscribe button or even better, hit that notification button if you want to keep getting tutorials like this. Let's get into it. So I've created an outer circle with a little bit of an inner circle. I've got 128 vertices that go around the outside and the inside. For now, what I'm going to do is press tab to go into object mode, come into shape keys on the right hand side and press the plus sign. This is our basis. This is our base mesh. From here, what I'm going to do is come in and add in another shape key. I'm going to press tab to go into edit mode. I've got this top vertice selected. I'm going to press O to turn on proportional editing. And we can see that there's an option has become blue. I can go G. And now we see that circle is how much is going to be influenced. I'm going to press Z. 0.5 to move it up on the Z axis, half a blender unit, and let's go like that. Now, if I press tab to go back into object mode, we can see that it's reverted back to the base mesh. However, I've still got this shape key one. If we increase the value, we can see it goes up. Lovely jubblies. However, I want to make eight sets of these. I'm going to come onto the basis, R to rotate 45 degrees. And now if I come back to our shape key one, I can increase the value and it's at 45 degrees. So let's do that once more. Let's click on the basis. I'm gonna press the plus sign to create shape key two, tab into edit mode. Let's select that top, G, Z, 0.5. There we go, tab into object mode. And now I can increase this, I can increase this, and that's what we've got at the moment. So now I'm gonna go around and do the other six sides. And now you can see we've done all eight sides. What I'm gonna do now is come back onto the basis, press tab to go into edit mode. I'm gonna alt right click this center circle, scale that up, and there we go. So now we've got that inner circle, which is nice and big. So let's come back into all these shape keys and turn them all down to zero by selecting and dropping it down. And now it's time for this circle to get a little bit of boogie on. So first we go into edit preferences, select testing up the top, and scroll down to import sound to animation. Let's give that a bit of a tick and now let's close it. Let's start off by selecting key one. I'm gonna right click on the actual numbers and insert a keyframe. Now let's bring up our graph editor and also while we're here, let's open up the video sequencer. From here, I'm going to add in our audio clip. So I'm gonna click add sound, locate our song, press N to bring up the side panel and we wanna select draw waveform so we can actually see. Now over in the field, I can hold control and middle mouse button and we can kind of drag in and around to increase the size of our waveform. So now we've got a good visual representation of what our waveform is gonna look like. From here, I'm going to expand the key up here in the graph editor. I'm gonna make sure that we're on frame one or frame zero, either or, doesn't really matter. I'm going to select the value key one to make sure that's selected. Let's select key, bake sound to F curve. From here, I'm gonna locate that song that we just had. I'm gonna change the lowest frequency to zero, which it already is, the highest frequency to be 50 for now. The attack time, I found that 0.05 is a good setting and it's baked sound to F curve. Now, if we see, we can see that we've got these little bumps coming through. Now let's just play, actually we'll increase this to 1000 frames and let's just play the song. And if I zoom out here, we should see some wonderful things starting to happen. So let's press play. Lovely jubblies. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back onto keyframe one. If we leave it over here, it's gonna start baking from there. That is not what we want. We want it from the start of the song. So let's go to keyframe two. I'm gonna right click, insert keyframe. Let's select our key two, come back into keys, bake sound to F curves, and I'm gonna bake from 50 to maybe 125. And we're slowly gonna increment this over. So it'll probably go from 125 to maybe 300 to 450 to 600 and so on and so forth till you get gradually grow out to maybe about 4,000. So let's now go through the process and bake sound to F curves and we'll go all the way around. And now all eight shape keys have been done. Let's have a look what it looks like. <laughs> 